Have you ever found yourself stranded on the side of the road because your car broke down? Now imagine that instead of a car, it was your server and all of the passengers are your customers. My name is Kelly Gray, and I'm here to prevent you from getting stuck. I'll talk to you about the upcoming end of life dates for MariaDB 10.1, which is October 17th, 2020, and MySQL 5.6's end of life dates, which is February 5th, 2021. When software reaches end of life, it means that the producers of that software have chosen to stop providing support for their product. This also means that even security updates will no longer be offered. Usually this happens because the software vendor has more updated products to offer. They are choosing to spend their time and resources on improved products, which can offer new features, better performance, new integrations, and most importantly, continued security patches. If your server is currently running end of life software, it is vulnerable to hackers looking to gain access to your resources or data, which is ultimately your customers' resources and data. We don't want that to happen. I will share with you some pointers about what you can do to prepare for MariaDB 10.1 and MySQL 5.6's approaching end of life dates. The first thing you should do is investigate your options for the upgrade paths. If you are currently running MariaDB 10.1, then you can upgrade to MariaDB 10.2 or MariaDB 10.3. If you are currently running MySQL 5.6, then you have two paths to choose from. You can continue to use MySQL as your database backend and upgrade to MySQL 5.7 or MySQL 8.0, which is available on cPanel and WGM version 88 and newer. Or you can choose to migrate your MySQL instance to MariaDB and upgrade to MariaDB 10.2 or MariaDB 10.3. Once you've chosen your upgrade path, the next step is for you to investigate all applications that run on your server, which require database services. You are checking for potential compatibility issues with the new database version that you have chosen. For example, if your server is using an older version of WordPress, it may not be compatible with the upgraded database version. In this example, you would also need to plan for a WordPress upgrade in addition to your database upgrade. Next, you should schedule a maintenance window and inform your customers so that they can be aware of potential service downtime and make their own preparations. Additionally, if your customers are using third-party software that relies on certain database versions, those customers should also be given time to perform the necessary changes to get on upgraded software that will be compatible with a new database version. Once your maintenance window approaches, Back up the cPanel and WHM server. You can perform these backups via WHM's backup configuration interface or through the command line. Additional information and backup methods can be found at go.cpanel.net slash backup databases. During your maintenance window, perform the upgrade through WHM's MySQL or MariaDB upgrade interface or through the WHM API 1 function. The upgrade will take some time to complete, which can vary depending on the number and size of the databases on the server. After the upgrade is complete, test your applications to ensure that they function properly. If you require assistance with any issues that result in this upgrade, you can submit a ticket through our customer service portal at support.cpanel.net. Or if you wish to outsource this task, you can hire a safe admin certified system administrator at go.cpanel.net slash hire a sysadmin. Well, that about covers it. It's been a pleasure and I hope that you all have an easy database upgrade in your future.